क्वेश्चन फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी जनरल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लीनियर ओडीई दीज प्रॉपर्टीज आर ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल एंड थियोरिटिकल इंपॉर्टेंस बिकॉज दे एनेबल अस टू ऑप्टेन न्यू सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम गिवन वन दस इन मॉडलिंग वेन एवर पॉसिबल वी प्रिफर लीनियर ओडीईज ओवर नॉन लीनियर ओडीईज विच हैव नो सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज शो दैट नॉन होमोजेनस लीनियर ओडीईज इक्वेशन वन फ्रॉम द बुक and homogeneous linear odes equation 2 of the book have the following properties illustrate each property by a calculation for two or three equations of your choice give proof so in questions 15 to 20 some properties have been given and we have to prove those properties analytically and give two or three examples to illustrate those properties for the purpose of this video i am only going to prove those properties analytically then i am going to give two or three equations which can be used to illustrate those properties you have to take those equations and use similar method given in the proof to illustrate those properties question 15 the sum y1 plus y2 of two solutions y1 and y2 of the homogeneous equation equation 2 of the book is a solution of equation 2 and so is a scalar multiple ay1 for any constant a these properties are not true for equation 1 of the book so let us first write down the equations 1 and 2 which has been given in the book equation 1 of the book is the standard equation of non homogeneous linear odes which is y dash plus p of x y equal to r of x and equation 2 given in the book is the standard form of homogeneous linear odes that is if we take r of x equivalent to 0 in some interval let us say a to b then this equation 1 becomes a homogeneous linear ode the general form is y dash plus p of x y equal to 0 left hand side of this equation is same and in the right hand side for equation 1 there is a function of x r of x is there and in equation 2 there is no function of x and there is a zero term here we have already learned in the last video that equation 1 is non homogeneous and equation 2 is homogeneous now in question 15 the problem is saying that the sum of y1 plus y2 where y1 and y2 are two solutions of this equation 2 is also a solution we have to prove this so let us first write what the given properties are we have y1 is a solution of equation 2 and this implies y1 dash plus p of x y1 equal to 0 let us take this as a similarly we have been given that y2 is a solution of equation 2 that means y2 dash plus p of x y2 equal to 0 let us take this as b so the question is asking us to prove that the sum that the sum y1 plus y2 is also a solution of equation 2 so let us first assume that y1 plus y2 is a solution and we'll see if we get any contradictions or not so let's assume 
that y1 plus y2 is a solution. Now, if y1 plus y2 is a solution, then equation 2 must be satisfied by replacing y1 plus y2 in place of y dash. So, we have LHS of equation 2 that is left hand side of equation 2 from that we can write y1 plus y2 dash plus p of x y1 plus y2 in place of y and this is equal to we know that y1 plus y2 derivative is y1 derivative plus y2 derivative. So, this is y1 dash plus y2 dash this we know from general property of derivatives if we have one function f of x and another function g of x and we have a composite function h which is sum of f of x and g of x then h dash will be f plus g dash which is equal to f dash plus g dash this we know from basics of derivatives. So, this will be p of x y 1 plus p of x y 2. Now, we can rearrange this and we can write y 1 dash plus p of x y 1 plus y 2 dash plus p of x y 2. Now, from equation a from here we see that this term equal to 0 and this term is also 0. So, this is equal to 0 which is equal to RHS of equation 2 that is this side. So, we saw that if we assume y 1 plus y 2 is a solution then the equation 2 is satisfied. So, that means y 1 plus y 2 is a solution. So, property 1 has been proved. So, this has been proved that y 1 plus y 2 is a solution if y 1 and y 2 are solutions of equation 2. So, we will write down here that if y 1 and y 2 are two solutions of equation 2 then y 1 plus y 2 is also a solution of equation 2. Now, in the next step the question is asking what about a scalar multiple of y 1 that is if we assume that y 1 is a solution then what about a y 1. So, now let us assume a y 1 is a solution of equation 2 which implies a y 1 must satisfy equation 2. Let us try and see what happens. So, we have LHS of equation 2. that is this side if we assume a y 1 is a solution then we can write a y 1 derivative plus p of x a y 1 in place of y which is equal to a y 1 derivative because we know that derivative of a multiplied by f of x is equal to a multiplied by derivative of f of x. This is from basic property of derivative. So, plus p of x a y 1 from here we have this is equal to a whole into y 1 dash plus p of x y 1 and this is equal to 0 from equation a over here. So, this 
so now this is equal to a multiplied by 0 which is equal to 0 which is equal to rhs of equation 2 given in the book so we saw that a by 1 dash satisfies the equation 2 of the book that means now we can write if y1 is a solution of equation 2 that is the homogeneous linear ODE then a y1 is also a solution of equation 2. Now let us highlight those properties. So this is one property and this is another property and both these are properties of equation 2 that is the equation of homogeneous linear ODE. So you can remember these properties and these properties will be quite useful. Next in the question 15, the question is asserting that these two properties do not hold true for equation 1. Let us check and see if this is true or not. So it has been given that y1 and y2 are solutions of equation 1 for the purpose of proving or disproving this property. So we have y1 dash plus p of x y equal to r of x. Let us say this as a and we also have y2 dash plus p of x this is y1 this is y2 equal to r of x let us say this as property b these two are given because we have been given that these two y1 and y2 are solutions of the differential equation this one which is the non homogeneous one so next the question is saying that in this case for equation 1 the sum of solutions y1 plus y2 is not a solution of the equation 1. So now we have to check if y1 plus y2 is a solution. So let us put y1 plus y2 in place of y in equation 1. So from equation 1 we have y1 plus y2 derivative plus p of x y1 plus y2 this is the LHS of equation 1 and this is equal to similar to last problem we have y1 dash plus p of x y1 plus y2 dash plus p of x y2 which is equal to we can see that this one is equal to r of x and this one is also equal to r of x from equation b so from equation a and b we have this is equal to 2 multiplied by r of x which is not equal to rhs of equation 1 so this means that y1 plus y2 is not a solution of equation 1 if y1 and y2 individually are solutions of equation 1. So this property does not hold true for non-homogeneous linear ODEs but this property holds true for homogeneous linear ODEs that is if we have two solutions of a homogeneous linear ODE then its sum will also be a solution which is not the case for a non-homogeneous linear ODE. Now let us go ahead to see if the second property is true or not that is if scalar multiple of the solution is a solution of one or not. So now we have to check if a y1 is a solution of 
equation 1. So, we have from LHS of equation 1, we have a y 1 derivative plus p of x multiplied by a y 1 which is equal to a y 1 derivative plus p of x multiplied by a y 1 similar to the previous problem which is equal to a whole into y 1 dash plus p of x y 1 and from equation a this is equal to r of x. So, this is equal to a multiplied by r of x which is not equal to r h s of equation 1 which means a y 1 is not a solution of equation 1 and therefore, a y 1 is not a solution of equation 1 if y 1 is a solution of equation 1. So, we see that these two properties hold true only for homogeneous linear ODEs and do not hold true for non homogeneous linear ODEs. That is if y 1 and y 2 are two solutions of a homogeneous linear ODE, then y 1 plus y 2 will also be a solution of the homogeneous linear ODE and its color multiple of any one solution that is a y 1 or a y 2 for that matter will be solutions of the homogeneous linear ODE and these two properties will not hold true for non homogeneous linear ODEs. Now, let us take two equations one homogeneous and one non homogeneous. So, first take a homogeneous linear ODE of the form equation 2. Let us say y dash minus 3y equal to 0. It has the general solution y equal to c e to the power 3 x and let us take two particular solutions y 1 is y equal to 5 e to the power 3 x and y 2 another solution is y equal to 10 e to the power 3 x. Now, these two are solutions of this equation a. Now, you can check that y 1 plus y 2 that is y equal to 15 e to the power 3 x is also a solution of equation a. Now, let us take example of a non homogeneous differential equation of the form of equation 1, let us say y dash minus 2y equal to minus 4x, it has the general solution of the form y equal to c e to the power 2x plus 2x plus 1, we can have two particular solutions y 1 as y equal to 2 e to the power 2 x plus 2 x plus 1 and another solution y 2 as y equal to 3 e to the power 2 x plus 2 x plus 1 by taking two different values of c. Now, you can check and see that y 1 plus y 2 is not a solution of this equation equation b. You can go ahead and check that for homogeneous equation this holds true and for non homogeneous equations this does not hold true. Similarly, in, in this case you can check that 3 y 1 or y equal to 15 e to the power 3 x is a solution of a and in this case you can check 3 y 1 
or y equal to 6 e to the power 2x plus 6x plus 3 is not a solution of equation B. This checking part I leave to you. I have already given the analytical proofs. You can follow the same method and check these properties from these examples. For problems 16 to 20, I am only going to prove the properties analytically. You have to choose suitable equations from previously done problems and examples given in the book to illustrate these properties. Question 16, y equal to 0 that is y of x equal to 0 for all x also written as y of x equivalent 0 is a solution of equation 2 of the book not of equation 1 if r of x not equal to 0 and is called a trivial solution. So we have to prove this property for equation 2 that is we have to show that y of x equivalent 0 is a solution of y dash plus p of x y equal to 0 that is this equation equation 2 from the book and also we have to show that that is not a solution of this equation 1 from the book. So equation 2 is y dash plus p of x y equal to 0 we have to show that y equal to 0 is a solution then let us check if by putting y equal to 0 on the left hand side we get right hand side equal to 0 or not so from LHS we get 0 plus p of x 0 because since y equal to 0 is a constant term its derivative will be 0 also and also y equal to 0 so this is equal to 0 which is equal to RHS of this equation so we see that y equal to 0 satisfies equation 2 from the book that means y equal to 0 is a trivial solution of equation 2 which is this one or may be written as homogeneous linear differential equation. So this is a property that you can remember that for homogeneous linear differential equation we have a trivial solution which is y equal to 0. We have already discussed this property in the introduction of the video number 13 of this classic series. You can see that. Now next we have to show that this y equal to 0 is not a solution of the equation 1 from the book that is of the non homogeneous linear DE. So we have equation 1 which is y dash plus p of x y equal to r of x and we have to check if y equal to 0 is a solution we have to check this. So let us take LHS of equation 1 we have y dash plus p of x y which is the same as before so this will be 0 plus p of x 0 which is equal to 0 which is not equal to the RHS which was r of x because r of x is not 0 for all x. We can write this as, as r of x is not equal to 0 for all x. So from this we see that 
y equal to 0 is not a solution of the non-homogeneous linear DE. So, we can write y equal to 0 is not a trivial solution of equation 1 that is non-homogeneous linear DE. This is another property. So, these two properties you can remember that y equal to 0 is a trivial solution of the equation 2 from the book which is the homogeneous linear differential equation and it is not a solution of equation 1 which is the non-homogeneous linear differential equation. Question 17, the sum of a solution of equation 1 and a solution of equation 2 is a solution of equation 1. So, let us say y 1 is a solution of equation 1 So, we have y 1 dash plus p of x y 1 equal to r of x. Similarly, if y 2 is a solution of equation 2, we will have y 2 dash plus p of x y 2 equal to 0 from this equation 1 and this equation 2 of the book. Now, the property is the sum of solution of equation 1 and a solution of equation 2 is a solution of equation 1. So, that means we have to show or we have to prove y 1 plus y 2 is a solution of equation 1, the sum of solution of equation 1 and equation 2, where y 1 is a solution of equation 1 and y 2 is a solution of equation 2. So, for this we will put this y 1 plus y 2 term in equation 1 and we will see if this satisfies or not. So, from this equation 1, we can write LHS of equation 1, we have y 1 plus y 2 dash plus p of x y 1 plus y 2, which is equal to y 1 dash plus y 2 dash. So, we can write y 1 dash plus y 2 dash and this p of x y 1 plus y 2 will be p of x y 1 plus p of x y 2. So, now let us divide these two parts y 1 sorry this will be y 1 dash y 1 dash plus p of x y 1 is r of x from here. Let us take this as equation a and this as equation b. So, from equation A and equation B, we can write this one is R of x and y 2 dash plus p of x y 2 is 0 from here. So, this is 0 which is equal to R h s of equation 1, this one. So, we see that y 1 plus y 2 satisfies equation 1. That means, now we can write the sum of solution of a non-homogeneous linear differential equation and a solution of a homogeneous linear differential equation is a solution of
the non-homogeneous linear differential equation which was mentioned here and you can remember this property which will be useful later question 18 the difference of two solutions of equation 1 is a solution of equation 2 so let's say y1 and y2 are two solutions of equation 1 then we have y1 dash plus p of x y1 equal to r of x and we also have y2 dash plus p of x y2 equal to r of x. Now we have to show that the difference of the solutions that is we have to show y1 minus y2 is a solution of equation 2. For this we will put this y1 plus y2 in place of y in equation 2. So from LHS of equation 2 we have y1 minus y2 dash plus p of x y1 minus y2 which can be written as y1 dash plus p of x y1 minus y2 dash minus p of x y2 and this is equal to y1 dash plus p of x y1 minus bracket y2 dash plus p of x y2. Now, if this equation was A and this equation was B, then the value of this can be taken from A and this value can be taken from equation B and both values are R of x, we can see from here. So, this is r of x minus r of x which is equal to 0 which is equal to the RHS of equation 2. That means equation 2 is satisfied by taking y equal to y1 minus y2. That means the difference of two solutions of equation 1 is a solution of equation 2. So, you can remember this property that is the difference of two solutions of a non homogeneous differential equation is a solution of the corresponding homogeneous differential equation with r of x equivalent to 0 that is r of x is 0 for all values of x. Question 19 if y 1 is a solution of 1 what can you say about t y 1. So, we have been given that y 1 is a solution of equation 1 then we have y 1 dash plus p of x y 1 equal to r of x. Now, the question is asking what can we say about c y 1. Let us check if c y 1 is a solution of equation 1 or not. So, we will check if c y 1 is a solution of equation 1. We have from LHS of equation 1 c y 1 dash plus p of x c y 1 we have substituted c y 1 in place of y to check if c y 1 is a solution of equation 1 or not. So, this is equal to c y 1 dash 
plus p of x multiplied by y1 multiplied by c which is equal to c whole multiplied by y1 dash plus p of x y1 now if we take this as equation a then this expression can be derived from equation a which will be equal to c multiplied by r of x and c multiplied by r of x this is not equal to the rhs of equation 1 therefore c y1 is not a solution of equation 1 if y1 is a solution of equation 1 but in case of equation 2 if y1 is a solution then c y1 will also be a solution so we can write another property that is c2 is a solution of equation 2 if y2 is a solution of equation 2 so in case of the homogeneous linear differential equation if y1 is a solution then c y1 is also a solution but in case of the non homogeneous linear differential equation if y1 is a solution then c y1 is not a solution so these are the two properties so you can remember these two properties and these will be required in the future while solving linear differential equations further we can see from here that if y1 is a solution of equation 1 then c y 1 will be a solution of y dash plus p of x y equal to c multiplied by r of x that is this equation 1 however on the right hand side in place of r x there will be c multiplied by r of x this is pretty easy to check let us take this as equation b and from lhs of equation b we can have c y1 dash plus p multiplied by c y1 which will be equal to c whole multiplied by y1 dash plus p y1 and this we can get from equation a of the above that is y1 dash multiplied by p of x multiplied by y1 equal to r of x because y1 is a solution of this equation 1 so this is equal to c multiplied by r of x which is equal to rhs of equation b which is this one so from this we derive the property that if y1 is a solution of equation 1 which is y dash plus py equal to r then c y 1 is a solution of y dash plus p y equal to c multiplied by r and this is another property so we have learnt three properties that if y1 is a solution of equation 1 then c y1 is not a solution of equation 1 but it is a solution of y dash plus p of y equal to cr if y2 is a solution of equation 2 then c y2 will also be a solution of equation 2 because here you can see if we multiply c with the right hand side then c multiplied by 0 will be equal to same 0 so if y2 is a solution then c y2 will also be a solution
question 20 if y1 and y2 are solutions of y1 dash plus p y1 equal to r1 and y2 dash plus p y2 equal to r2 respectively with the same p what can you say about the sum y1 plus y2 so given we have two equation one is y1 dash plus p y1 equal to r1 let us take this as equation a and y2 dash plus p y2 equal to r2 let us take this as equation b the question is saying that y1 and y2 are the solutions of these form of non-homogeneous linear differential equations and y1 and y2 have been replaced in place of y already now the question is saying that the function p is same in both equation a and equation b and it is asking what can we say about the sum y1 plus y2 now let us take equation a plus equation b and thus we have y1 dash plus p y1 plus y2 dash plus p y2 equal to r1 plus r2 we can rearrange this equation and we can rewrite this as y1 plus y2 dash plus p whole into y1 plus y2 equal to r1 plus r2 now you can see that this is in the general form of this equation 1 with y1 plus y2 in place of y and r1 plus r2 in place of r so we can say that y1 plus y2 is a solution of y dash plus py equal to r1 plus r2 this equation so from this we get if y1 and y2 are solutions of y1 dash plus p y1 equal to r1 and y2 dash plus p y2 equal to r2 respectively with the same p this point is important because otherwise in this place we could not have taken this p term common so if y1 and y2 are solutions of y1 dash plus p y1 equal to r1 and y2 dash plus p y2 equal to r2 then y1 plus y2 is a solution of this equation that is y dash plus p y equal to r1 plus r2 you can see that this is the same result that we got in equation 19 where if y1 is a solution of equation 1 this one then c y1 is a solution of this equation but c multiplied by r of x in the right hand side so this is what we can say about y1 plus y2 before starting problem 21 we will first understand what equation 3 and equation 4 are equation 3 is the solution of the homogeneous linear differential equation that is y dash plus p of x y equal to 0 and equation 4 is the solution of the non homogeneous linear differential equation that is y dash plus p of x y equal to r of x these two equations are from the book so let us now read the statement of the problem 21 problem 21 is regarding variation of parameter Another method of obtaining equation 4, that is this one, results from the following idea. Write equation 3, that is this one, as c y star, where y star is the exponential function, which is a solution of the homogeneous linear ODE, y star dash plus p y star equal to 0. Replace the arbitrary constant c in equation 3 with a function u 
to be determined so that the resulting function y equal to u y star is a solution of the non homogeneous linear ODE y dash plus p y equal to r. So, the question is asking us to find out this equation 4 which is the solution of the non homogeneous linear ODE by using variation of parameter method. Let us first write down the given data from the problem. The problem is saying to write equation 3 as c y star where y star is the exponential function which is a solution of the homogeneous linear ODE of the form y dash plus p y equal to 0. So, we have been given from equation 3 the solution of the homogeneous linear ODE which is c e to the power minus p d x and we have to write this as c y star which means this y star is this e to the power minus integration p d x. So, we have y star equal to e to the power minus integration of p d x and we know that this y equal to c y star which is a solution of this homogeneous linear ODE. So, we can substitute y equal to c y star in this equation and we will get this one that is y star dash plus p y star equal to 0. Let us check and see we have c y star derivative plus p of x c y star equal to 0 which implies y star dash multiplied by c plus p of x y star multiplied by c equal to 0 which implies y star dash plus p of x y star equal to 0 which is this equation. Let us take this as equation A. Next the question is saying to replace this arbitrary constant c that is this one with a unknown function u which is to be determined so that the resulting function u y star is a solution of the non homogeneous linear ODE. So, now we have y equal to u y star which is a solution of non homogeneous linear ODE that is equation 1 of the book which is of the form y dash plus p y equal to r. So, if this y equal to u i star is a solution then if we put y in place of y dash this equation must satisfy. So, from equation 1 of the book we have u y star dash plus p multiplied by u y star equal to r. We have replaced this y term with u y star because according to the question this u y star is now a solution of the non homogeneous linear ODE. So, for the first term we will use the product rule of differentiation that is u y star dash plus y star u dash plus p u y star equal to r. From this first term and this third term we can take u common and we can write y star u dash that is this term plus u multiplied by y star dash which is from the first term plus p y star which is from the third term equal to r. 
Now from equation A, from here we have y star dash plus p y star equal to 0. So this inside term is 0. So from this we can write y star u dash equal to r. So that implies u dash which is equal to du by dx is equal to r divided by u star which implies du equal to r divided by y star dx. We can integrate both sides and we can write u equal to integration of r divided by y star dx plus constant of integration c. Now from this equation we have y star equal to e to the power minus integration of p dx and from here we have y equal to u y star. So we will write this data here. We have y star equal to e to the power minus integration of p dx and y equal to u y star. We can use this value of u in here and we can write this is equal to y star multiplied by integration of r divided by y star dx plus constant of integration c. Now we have the value of y star and we can use this value in this equation and we can write this implies y equal to e to the power minus integration of p dx integration of r divided by e to the power minus integration of p dx plus constant of integration c and this is equal to e to the power minus integration of p dx integration of e to the power integration p dx r plus constant of integration c because 1 by e to the power minus integration p dx is e to the power integration p dx. Now if we take h equal to integration of p dx then this equation can be written as y equal to e to the power minus h integration of e to the power h r of x dx plus constant of integration c. Sorry there should be a dx here and this is the solution of the non-homogeneous linear differential equation and you can see that this is the same solution that we got in equation 4 but we have used a different method that is the variation of parameter method to obtain the same solution. So, this is the solution.